Okay, welcome to field two. We have an exciting day of rugby for you here today. We have a few less games. We're going to have a couple of club games and then a couple of um, mixed squads. So in this one we have Downingtown, sorry, yes, Downingtown versus West Carroll. And we are here at beautiful Guildford College in Greensboro, North Carolina with absolutely amazing facilities and the rugby fields are top-notch and happy St. Patrick's Day everybody so we're going to kick off here in about five minutes I'll just go through the lineups and there may be a few changes that we haven't heard about but we'll we'll do our best here so down in town we have Ramos number one Brown at two, Kanta at four. Oh wait, sorry, I'm gonna get back to that. We'll do West Carroll. So we have Aguilar Martinez, one, Linder, two, Rugnell at three, Govier, four, Aguilar Martinez, five, Melody at eight, Cox at scrum half, Schuster at 10, Roth, 11, O'Boyle at 13, Harrison at the other wing. We have Brodsky at the back. And I think we have Lettich at uh, second center. But we will confirm that. So for Downingtown, we have Snow, McKerns, Dixon Logic, Hurley. Stahl, Pasco, McGettigan, and her sister Lily McGettigan at 10, Erin Midorski, 14, Davis, 15, Lazonio, and 16, Towies. Subs are Kaina, Whalen, Miscavige, Million, Hoke, and Green. Absolutely gorgeous day here in Greensboro. Rest ready to kick it off here. Balls up, just gone 10. Pasco has it. Sets the rock. Pod set outside. Nice strong run there by Dixon Logic. And we have a penalty for not releasing. So Layla Cox will start with a first opportunity for Marauders here. Balls out to number four, Brugnell. Cox spreads it again. Out to O'Boyle. O'Boyle making a strong run down the side. Marauders knocking on the door here. Balls out to number four, Brugnell again. Or Govier, sorry. And it looks like they're in. So quick score there for West Carroll. Not sure who picked up the score there. 
but uh, we'll try and get a name for you. This kick is right on the edge and the wind is kind of blowing across the field. Kick is just a little short, so we have 5-0 West Carroll. So Mgetigan will get us going here again. Balls up. Oh, almost well taken by 16. It looks like the ref is going to let us go here. And that's uh, Lettich. Pods are formed. Melody spreading it out now. Ball's on the ground. So Downingtown making some good yardage here, even though they're not in possession of the ball. Keeping that pressure up. Ball's out to Melody again. Actually, that was Govier. Cox digs it out. Spreading the ball here. O'Boyle fumbled it a little bit, but seems to maintain uh, possession. Cox makes a nice breakthrough in. She's got some space. Breaks one tackle. She's been chased down. It's a foot race. A big tackle. It might be considered high because it was at the shoulders by Davies, but ref seems to think it's okay. Good run there by Layla Cox. And very nice chase down by Davies. Ball's out. Govier. Boyle. Oh, Boyle just trundling along, dragging players with her. Let's say driven out into touch. So Downingtown will have uh, the put in on the line out right inside their, their run 22, probably around the five meter line. And it looks like we have an injury on the field. It might be Layla Cox, it looks like. So we'll take a little break here, folks. So exciting start here by the uh, Marauders. Some re a really nice break there from Layla Cox right inside her own half, probably if inside her own 10 meter line, all the way up inside the 22 of Downingtown. Only thing stopping her from scoring was a nice chase down by Davies. Absolutely beautiful facilities here in Greensboro. Cox walking off a little gingerly. So Layla Cox will be a big loss for Marauders in this one because she is an absolute playmaker. And she's taking her rugby talents and her academic skills to Quinnipiac in the fall. So <laughs> Looks 
looks to be okay. She's smiling. So we've got the line up here. Ready to go. Ball's up. Fielded cleanly by Downingtown. Kicks up by McGettigan. Kicks it into space. Well taken there at the back by West Carroll. Number 11, Roth. Ball's there to be taken. Well tackled by McGettigan. Ball turned over and then turned right back around. So it's available. West Carroll breaks off the edge. Setting their pod. Oh, well tackled there. Not gaining an inch. Out to O'Boyle. Swallowed up by a couple of players. A lot of space out left if Marauders get moving. Being directed in traffic here by Aguilar Martinez. Oh, massive hit and the ball pops out. Looks like we have a knock on. Ref's playing advantage. Pasco on the move now. Space outside. Nice run by number six up the sideline here. Claire Hurley. Looks like she's in. She's broken away. She's going to score under the post. What a great run. And she touches it down. So we're all tied up at five with the kick to come. A lot of that pressure was created by number 16, Akila Tawis. Had some massive hits in that series. A couple of big tackles to stop the pressure and then a massive tackle to knock the ball on and take the advantage. So we're all tied up at five here. Marauders bunching a little bit on that series and they were being directed out by Aguilar Martinez to take the take the space and just didn't get there in time and then turnover happened and Downingtown used full advantage of, of what they'd been given. So we have Miguetigan on the kick right in front of the post. Claire Harley, a nice run there on the score. So we've had two fairly long breakaways in this game so far. Leila Cox from West Carroll and Hurley from Downingtown. Ball's up, it's good. So we have 7-5 early in this one. Some really good rugby so far. Towies is putting on a show here. Some of those big hits. West Carroll will have to maintain their shape and get people out wide because Downingtown has a lot of speed out there. Okay, so we're ready to go here. Ball's up by number five, Aguilar Martinez. Well taken. Downingtown on the move. They've got numbers outside. Going right up the middle with number two, McKerns. Penalty right on the halfway line for not rolling away. McGettigan settles it down. Kicks for touch, right around the 10 meter line. So Downingtown will set up for the lineup, line out. Slight breeze here, blowing across the field today on a gorgeous day for rugby. Pasco breaks off the back. Spreads it out to McGettigan. 
Ball bobbled but cleans up. Oh, nice cut there and creates the space. And it looks like they're in. Great run there by number 14. So that was Charlotte Davies on the on the run there. It was really, really well worked by Downingtown. They're they're absolutely using every inch of the field, creating space on the outside, and then they just have absolute flyers. So first few minutes were all West Carroll pounding it up the field. Downingtown seemed to have gotten their feet under them a little bit, gotten rid of the early jitters, and, and now they're on the move. We get in with the kick here. Certainly within McGettigan's range. Ball's up. Nicely stroked. And it's in. So 14-5, Downingtown. Lily McGettigan has got a really nice uh, fluid motion on her kicking. Fourteen five downing town. Catherine. 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 Since you're not you have to spread. You have to come over here. Yes. You have to spread. Keep Maya over there. Yeah, keep Maya on one side. You're on the other one. You gotta spread though when it's on D. You gotta tackle, ladies. Layla Cox giving directions from the sideline here. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Can't keep her down. All right, so ball went 10 and into touch. Okay. Sorry, actually, it was a knock-on, so we're going to have a scrum down. We're orders on the 10-meter line with the put-in for Melody's break off the back here. Ball's out. Received by O'Boyle. Stay there, Maya, go! Hold on to the go, ball! Go, Maya, go! Get over! Oh, Eat it! Get over! Eat it! Get over! That it sets the ruck. So referee is playing uh, penalty advantage for scrum collapse I think balls up kick for touch is good so marauders will set up just right on the 22 meter so for those of you who are not avid rugby fans and are watching at home when you have a penalty you have a couple of choices well you have four choices actually you can kick for touch you can tap and go you can kick for points if it's within your range or yeah or you can choose a scrum so it looks like the ref is saying that the defense wasn't set weren't back 10 so it's gonna do it again which is actually a little bit of a break for the marauders because the ball was in crooked nicely done there melody took it at the top out to a boil Nice break of tackle. Well tackled there by number, I think by Whale in the, in the back line. Ball's out, number 19, Roth. Melody has it, spreads it out. Bit of a sideways run by 11, Roth. Marauders are set to go back the other way. Ball goes backwards.
Not sure what the ref is calling here. Calling a scrum to West Carroll. Balls in, rolls out. Carlin Melody breaks off the back, out to a boil. A boil breaks a tackle. She's still going. She's inside of 22. She has support. Rock is set. Balls out. Melody has it. Oh, being driven back by Downingtown, but cleaned it up. On the move again. Just inside the 22. Just a little bit towards the sideline there out of our field of vision. Waiting for a scrum half to get there. West Carroll driving on here. Keeping their pods tight. Big hit there by Towies again. And it looks like it was a bit straight up. So ref calls high tackle and he's going to give her a bit of a warning. Telling her she needs to lower her tackle height. So she gets to talking to. West Carroll in good position here. Looks like they're going to tap and go. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody out there. Getting a little bit overcast here, which is nice. Keeping it cool. All right, so West Carroll kicks for touch. They're on the five meter line. Just trying to get into that try line to even up the score here, or at least get it closer. It's currently 14-5. Line out's taken, clean. West Carroll sets up. Out to a boil. Driving on there, not sure who that was. Might have been number four, Govier. Ref blows it up. So since Leila Cox um, has come out, West Carroll has had a little bit of trouble kind of maintaining who is um, at that scrum half position. So the rucks aren't as maybe as clean as they could be. It uh, looks like we have a little bit of an injury here now to one of the West Carroll players. Absolutely gorgeous facilities here in Guildford College. Thank you to uh, Coach Christine Newcomb and her team for putting everything together for us down here uh, at what is our first rugby showcase outside of New Jersey. So there was a lot of moving parts that we weren't in control of and everything was done absolutely fabulously. West Carroll coach Brian Melody talking to the ref on the field. So we still have player down injured. The trainers have been excellent over the last couple of days, really taking care of the players well.
looks like the first game has ended on field one. We'll try and get a score for you guys on that one. Aspatuck were pretty much in control of it at halftime. I think it was 26 nothing at halftime in that other game against uh, Wando. So I'm not sure what happened in the second half as we started our our broadcast on field two, but we'll we'll get a score for you guys. We've got Primo Nelson Galarza on the camera here. And we're actually split duties today. That's why we're doing the uh, single single commentator because we uh, split our cameras and our crew to cover the two fields. So hopefully the broadcast is going well and getting out there. We had some problems with the stream yesterday, but so far so good from what I'm hearing. We were having some uh, problems with our camera on field one as the zoom wasn't fully working. It start, started acting up us a little bit yesterday and we thought it was overheating, but it started acting up again a little bit this morning. So we might be purchasing some new camera equipment during the week. So if there's anybody out there who would like to donate to the EGRL or who would like to uh, help support what we're trying to do here, by all means, please contact admin at egrl.org. And we have some, some great sponsors this year that have really been helping us out and helping us get our mission out there. So we've had Best Logics and Transportation, Basecamp 31, providing all of the logistical support behind what we do, Rugby New Jersey, who have been absolutely phenomenal supporters of everything we, we have going on out here, um, Steamroller Rugby in Maryland. Jeff has been phenomenal and he's very involved in the North Bay team. He's the coach there. Uh, Westchester Land Rover, Proactivity, World Rugby Shop, Corning Boosters, Wahini Boosters, Bushmills Tavern, 4tags.com for all of your livestock tagging needs, and Main Street Cigar in Maryland. So, like I said, if you want to get involved, you want to support what we're trying to do here, please uh, reach out and contact us on Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, whichever you want. Even comment in the in the chat on the on the stream. And it looks like number twenty five is being walked off. So the score here, 14-5. Easy and overcast here this morning. I'm sure the players are appreciating it. Not sure who the injured player is here because I don't have a number 25 on my roster. But we'll try and get the name for you guys.
so we got confirmation it was Jalea Cruz that is uh, down hurt. Looks like a lower leg injury, so. Teams are circled around and getting their games plan ready. Game plan, sorry. We have coach Christine Newcomb standing beside us here, surveying all that she has done over the last few weeks. Culminating in an early bedtime, probably. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful facilities here. Some of the nicest rugby fields you'll see in the US. Absolutely gorgeous. So taking a little bit of time to get going here. Trainer is, is obviously busy with the injured player. <laughs> Score in the first game was Aspetuck 49 and Wando 0. Aspetuck really putting on a bit of a show here this weekend. They've been very, very physical and just working through the phases and then getting the ball out to their back line when they sucked the other players in. So it's been a really good performance for them so far. The EGRL champions still still showing that they want to be on top at the end of the season. All right, so looks like we're getting ready to start back up again here. The score is 14-5 to Downingtown so far. McGettigan will uh, get everything moving again. Refs ready, West Carroll's ready, off we go. Ball's up. It's gone 10. Oh, and recovered by Whalen. Nice break by Whalen down the outside. She's being hanged on. Number 15 is there in support. Nice set up there by Lazonio. Ball stolen in the rock. West Carroll on the move. Spreading it out, but running kind of flat across their back line. Not really gaining any ground. Towies was making sure she didn't get a high tackle there as player collapsed kind of in front of her. But West Carroll's just been driven back here. Pressure is absolutely in their face. They're heading towards their own try line. O'Boyle tries to make a breakout. Gets a little bit of yardage, support's not there. And it looks like we're gonna get a quick tap penalty here by McGettigan, no, they changed their minds. But uh, the pressure from Downingtown was really, really good there. Creating a situation where a boil was isolated and uh, it looked like number 11 in the rock for, uh, look McDorsky in the rock for Downingtown getting the jackal. Towies. And she's in. So punched in by Towies. That puts the score at 19 5 with the kick to come. The West Carl has quite a few young players here with them today, so. It won't be the same team we'll see later in the season. Good coaching staff on both of these clubs. West Carroll regroups under the post while McGettigan gets ready to kick for 
what is probably five meters inside the touchline. Not an easy kick, definitely still within a range, but crowd quietens down, kicks up, fluffed it a little bit, has a quick chuckle to herself, gets ready to go again. So score remains 19-5 in favor of Downingtown, who I would say are really playing as a complete, complete unit. They're sealing the rocks, they're, they're getting their numbers, they're really putting pressure on defense. Okay, balls up. Fielded by number two, Linder. It looks like we have a knock on in the tackle, so it's gonna be an opportunity for West Carroll to get moving. They're just inside the 10 meter line of the Downingtown half. West Carroll really needs to be taking this ball moving. Aguilar Martinez puts the ball in. Melody breaks off the back, is tackled immediately. Has the ball again. Out to O'Boyle. O'Boyle gets a few yards on a run. Has three or four players hanging off her. Strong runner, O'Boyle. Melody off the back. Gets a couple of more yards. I'm going to have a penalty for not releasing, not rolling away. Taken quick by Aguilar Martinez. Ball spreading out here. Okay, well tackled by Davies. His ref says they weren't back 10, so he'll reset, give West Carroll another crack at it. Towies with another big hit. Ref is calling over a Downingtown player. So it's going to be a penalty on something. I didn't catch what it was. He's giving full explanation. So Hurley will talk to her team. So we've got Downingtown right on the goal line. I would imagine that O'Boyle will be the attended target, which it is. Makes a nice burst through a couple of tackles, cuts back inside, and she's in. Nice run there by O'Boyle. She was able to absorb a few hits and, and still maintain her, her feet as the wind picks up here. Really nice run by Catherine O'Boyle. West Carroll not going away in this one. So 19-10 with the kick to follow. Drop kick by Aguilar Martinez is good. So it's 19-12. So the injury timeout might have put a little bit of kink 
in the Downingtown attack. Some nice running there by O'Boyle and Melody on that series. Begetigan will get everything going again. Ball's up. Doesn't look like it's gone 10. So West Carroll opts for scrum. So you have a couple of choices. You can either take the scrum at halfway or you can ask for a re-kick. West Carroll chooses the scrum. Getting some help from Cardinals coaching staff here for the next game, which is great because I called half a game yesterday with Doylestown playing Rally Redhawks. Second half turned out it was the Cardinals playing Rally, playing Doylestown. So sorry about that, folks. But I've been got getting plenty of grief for it so far. So. All right, so Aguilar Martinez will put on, will put in, being watched closely by McGettigan. Ref not happy with how the scrum was going down, so he's calling a penalty. Aguilar Martinez taps. Pod runs by her, she spreads it out to O'Boyle again. O'Boyle breaks for the outside, making some nice yardage down the field. Looks a little isolated. Marauders get there in support. Penalty not releasing. So Downingtown heads back 10. Ball's out again. Govier on the run. Sets it up. Ball's available. Shaw. Out to O'Boyle. Letich. Bit of a sloppy ball. Looks like we have a knock on. As the ball was coming towards the player releasing was tackled and ball kind of bobbled out. Made it very difficult for her to pick up. So Downingtown has a scrum right just on the edge of the 22 meter line. So they'll start their attacking phase again. <laughs> Downingtown seems to be keying up on, on the fact that a lot of the offense is running through Boyle now with, with Cox and Baladaris not, not playing. Getting it out to her sister Lily. Lily's trying to create some space. Kicks a bit of a bobbler up the middle. Well fielded by number 11, Roth. Melody sets the rock. Looks like we have a knock on advantage. Getting a little breezy here. So Downingtown move it up to just on inside the halfway line. Towies takes it over. Downingtown just taking the easy yardage. Okay, ball's out to Whalen. Bit of a no-look class. Got numbers outside. Ball was thrown a little wild. 
Davies couldn't hang on to it, so ball went out into touch. So just a ref said it was a knock on first before it went out to touch, so he gave the line out or scrum option. West Carroll chooses the scrum. Getting barking out the orders, getting her defense set like a field general out there. Okay, balls out. Melody has it out to a boil. A boil taking a little bit of a cross run across the field, breaks a couple of tackles. Still maintaining her feet. She's down now and not rolling away, but ref says the ball is presentable. Out to Govier. Govier being held up by Tawi. Ball's out now. Aguilar Martinez didn't see it. So Downingtown very, very quick on the ball there. Out to Whalen. Whalen's bursting for the outside. She has somebody outside her. Big tackle there by number five. Aguilar Martinez. Downingtown still on the move here. Ref calls not releasing. On number one, Snow. Ball stays in. Oh, she had a fit, foot in touch. She had a foot in touch when she... Davis had a foot in touch when she uh, picked up the ball. Davies just misplaced the line there and had a foot in touch when she made the catch. Melody takes a nice clean ball out to Aguilar Martinez, out to a Boyle. Boyle makes a nice cross cut. Always taking players with her across the field. Melody sets the rock again. Aguilar Martinez trying to direct players out. Out to Govier. Govier, nice game today. Ball's available. Martinez spreads it out to number 19. Roth. We have number 24. Not sure who that is because the number is higher than the, num the names I have. So, Oh, it's turned over. And ref, I think he's saying hands in rock. I'm just bringing it back for a penalty advantage. Yep. Not sure what the penalty was, but it's given penalty advantage. Here. So score is 19-10. West Carroll trying to get another score on the board here so they can they can get everything moving. Ball's moving well out the wing. Downingtown's there in numbers. Aguilar Martinez takes it at pace. Ball's available. Oh, ref says penalty. That penalty was on number 11, Aaron Midorski. Not rolling away, I think. Strong run by Aguilar Martinez. Out to a Boyle. Boyle always runs hard. Takes three or four players with her. Support isn't there. It looks like it's cleaned up by Downingtown. So ref gives a penalty for not rolling away. West Carroll's support just a little slow in getting there. McGettigan will slow everything down and take her kick for touch. Oh, 
slices a little bit, so it's out about a couple of meters past where she was kicking from. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody out there. So, Downing Town ready. Ball's in. Ref said it's good. Nice run there by Avi Getigan. Stolen by Aguilar Martinez. Pasco really trying to drive her out of the touch, but she maintains her line. Ref's given penalty advantage. Ball's out to Govier. Ref says no advantage coming. So and it looks like uh, Melody was down for a couple of seconds, but she's okay now. Aguilar Martinez gets her, her team set. Time's running, running out here. Scores 19-10, favor of Downingtown. Put on a really good performance. Govier makes a nice break. Supports there from Melody. Ball's turned over. Out to the wing. It cuts back inside and then knocks it on. So it looks like we're gonna have a scrum advantage at least, at a minimum. West Carroll really trying to drive on here. Ref's gonna call it back for the scrum. So it's getting a little chilly here with the sun behind the clouds. So up next we have Vienna versus Charlotte Cardinals. Ball's in. Ref said the ball came out the channel, out the tunnel, so he's gonna make him do it again. Really the last couple of seconds left in this one. Martinez puts the ball in. Big push there by Downingtown. Ref's going to call a penalty for scrum collapsing. A couple of players getting up a little slowly. So McGettigan will, will set and take her kick. Gettigan puts it out. Kearns to put it in. Cleaned up by Linder. Linder a little gingerly to get up here. So we're going to have a slight injury timeout. So the uh, injury break we had earlier really seemed, seemed, seemed to change the uh, tempo of the game. So Linder's up, seems to be walking back okay. Just needed a breather. OK, 
Okay, so we'll we'll scrum down. It's gonna be a West Carroll put in. We have Aaron Madorsky putting in some Irish dancing moves out on the wing here, maybe to keep herself warm on the St. Patrick's Day. Big balls in. It's lost. Break by Pasco off the back. Strong run. Sports there by McGettigan. Ball's dug out. Nice break up the sideline here by number six. Hurley. Ball's available. McGettigan digs it out. Out to number two, McKerns. Breaking a couple of tackles here. Still on our feet. Still on our feet. Okay, space out wide. If they can get the ball moving, McGettigan skips. Makes a nice little break through the hole. Numbers outside, she's got it out. Out to number 14. And she's in. Number 14, Charlotte Davies on the score there. So that puts the score at 24-10 in favor of Downingtown. Really well work ball there. Downingtown has some real speed on the outside and they worked it well in the rocks there to get that space going on the outside and really put the ball where they needed to. Okay. Looks like it's just about to rain a little bit here. The score in the other game is 24-10. Cobra, Cobras are up. And it looks like we're having some, some broadcast troubles a little bit here. Balls up, kick's good. So that was Davies on the kick as well. So and that's it. So it's gonna be a 26 to 10 win for Downingtown over West Carroll. Was a really good game of rugby. And we'll take a quick break here and then we'll be back with the next game.
Okay, we're getting ready to kick off here. We have Vienna versus Kirshner puts the ball up versus Sharna Cardinals. Just starting to rain a little bit here. Hopefully it's just a passing shower. Oh, nice break there by, by Charlotte coming down the field, number six. And it looks like she's in. So Vienna were setting up, quick turnover of the ball and Charlotte took full advantage. Just looking for my line up here for, for Charlotte. We'll have Kirshner on the kick. Cardinals off to a very quick start in this one. Kirshen gets ready with the right foot. Just a little short. Was in line. Kirshen are one of those rare people who can kick off both feet. So we have five nothing Cardinals right off the bat. Ooh, big boot back up the field into space. Chased down by Leah, puts the ball up. Leah DeMarco playing a fullback, normally a Morris player, playing, putting in some time at, for Vienna today. Really nice run by number 17 from the Charlotte there all down the field, and it looks like she's in. Pretty much the same spot as the last try. Charlotte is not messing around here today. Okay, so that first try was scored by number six. I, I think we might have had a jersey change because it says Jim Lee Rivera's on the first score. But it was a little bit outside my field of vision, so I'm not entirely sure. So we'll have Kirshner for the kick here again. Ball's up, looks good. Just a little short again. So Kirshner hands the tee back to her tee caddy and heads, heads back to receive. Kayla Wrigley will get this started again. So we have 10 nothing in very quick fashion from Charlotte. Balls up. Ooh, taken on the run by Monster. Really nicely taken by Monster. Drundling down the field, dragging players with her. She's inside the 10 meter. Ball's there to be taken. It's out. Charlotte running into a swarm of Vienna players. Ball's to go to Kirshner. Kirshner spreads it to Cook. 
Oh, she creates some space. Really nice run there. And she cuts back inside and she's going to score under the post. Very nice work there by Caroline Cook. Score under the post. Cut through three or four Vienna players to, to make that happen. So Charlotte off to a 15 nothing lead. And the kick is right under the posts for Kirshner. Kirshner taking her skills to Quinnipiac in the fall. Goes into her routine, takes her steps. Ball's up, it's good. That ball was really well taken by Monster on the kickoff and just took it in the air at speed and then just took a bunch of Vienna players out on her way back down the field. It put Vienna under serious pressure immediately. So we're quickly down 17 nothing here. Ball's up. Ooh, ref called a knock on. Looked like she was turned backwards, but maybe he had a better vantage point. So it's gonna be a scrum down just inside the 10 meter line for Vienna. Claire Sherrill, another Morris player, heads for the for the scrum. The great thing about rugby is if you don't have enough players on an any any given day because it's some injuries or something, teams are always willing to give players if they have the numbers. It's a very big rugby community thing. And the great thing about this weekend is we've seen players from all the way from Connecticut all the way down to South Carolina just getting together after the games and having a good time. It's really great to see. Okay, ball's out to the wing, out to number 20. Tyree. Oh, it's stolen. And Ress said, high tackle. So it's gonna be a penalty. High tackle on number 19, Zoe Tate. So Kirshner will slow things down and kick for touch. With her left foot this time. Slices it a little bit. Looked like Kirshner was aiming right for us. He's trying to take us out for our mistakes made yesterday on calling them rally. <laughs> Sorry, Raleigh. We're in the south, Raleigh. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody out there. Okay, so we'll have... Blamnik put the ball in. Ball's up, taken cleanly. Over the head into the back line. Nice break there. Gemily Rivera cleaning things up. Now Monster on the ball. So we're gonna call a Penalty on Zoe Tate for an infraction within that series. Needs to be. Sorry, on Ava Awakanta. So Kirshner puts it into touch just inside the halfway. Caroline Cook giving instructions for the line out here. Vienna not matching the numbers in the line out. Ref didn't seem to notice. So 
Since we all side call. Break by Riveras up the field. Out to Kushner, puts it into space. Well covered there by Vienna. Swallowed up by quite a few Cardinals players. Balls dug out by Wrigley. Out to the back line now. Balls moving. So we have a knock on advantage picked up by Monster. Sets the rock. Oliveira at scrum half. Ball moving well here and it looks like we have a knock on, fortunately out on the wing. So. A little bit of a breather for Vienna. Have been under relentless pressure so far in this one. On these beautiful fields at Guildford College. Probably some of the best rugby fields we've we've seen in the whole country. Absolutely spectacular. Thank you, uh, Coach Christine Newcomb, for putting everything together for us down here. Kirshner directing traffic, Gemli Rivera insider. Vienna on the way out, just running a little crooked. Here comes Leah DeMarco making a nice break on the outside. Makes a nice cut, well tackled by number 15. Big tackle by Patterson there. Player got kind of slammed to the ground. So she's getting checked out by the trainer. Says she's okay, smile on her face. Heading back out to the center, it's coin. Kirshner's pushed out wide outside Rivera. And we've got number 13, Landon K filling in a 10 as first receiver. All stolen by Rivera and the rock. Spreads the ball out to number 14, a little bit of an errand pass. Let's see if Boone can clean it up. So we're going to have a penalty. Looks to be on Patterson. Wrigley on the move. Out to Kanta. Sorry, Tate. I've been mixing those two names up all day today. So we're going to have a penalty for... Not sure what the call was, but so we're going to have... A tap and go from the Cardinals just inside the, actually sorry, it looks like number 15 is going to kick for touch here. So that's Addison Boone. The Cardinals really putting some, some good phases together. Vienna looked to be a, a little bit of a younger team. I know they, they've borrowed some players from other teams as well, so. Okay, so we're gonna scrum down here. Just had a visit from 
Brian Melody, the Emperor of West Carroll Rugby. Okay, so Wrigley making a couple of yards up the field here. Rock set. Tate breaks off. And we're going to have a penalty. Looks like double movement. So you're only allowed one rugby movement after the tackle. And it can be a, a set, a placing of the ball or a stretch forward. But it looks like she had a double movement to rolling. So we're going to have Boone kick for touch. Makes it. It's good to see play, uh, teams getting uh, other players some opportunities in those specialty areas. You know, for kicking, usually with Cardinals, it's it's Kirshner that has those duties, but you never know when you're going to get injuries or, or need another player to step in. And Boone doing a nice job so far. Okay, the ball's up, it's clean. And scrum half dropped it, knock on advantage. Wrigley puts one over the top. Boone feels it. Puts it right back up the middle. Fielded by DeMarco. Cuts cross field, puts the ball out. Big tackle there by Kirshner. Ref is bringing it back, I think, maybe for an offside on the kick. So Boone put the kick up, but then it seemed like a couple of Cardinals players actually moved before they were brought back onside. Wrigley kicks for touch. So we're going to be inside the Cardinals half, just right near the 10 meter line. So after a very, very fast start by the Cardinals, things have slowed down a little bit here and the game has been played pretty much between the tens for the last 15 phases. Ref not happy with the line out, so he said they're gonna do it again. It's clean. Going to call a penalty, I think high tackle. Wrigley kicks for touch again. Bit of a wind at her back, so she's doing the smart thing and just taking those easy yards. Wind assisted. Set up and go again. So it's the probably the first time in this game where Vienna is actually looking like they might threaten and put some, some pressure on the Cardinals who are all back on their try line. Ball taken well in the line out. Vienna driving on here. Ball's available. It's gonna be a penalty on Cardinals for hands and ruck. Quickly taken by Wrigley, but ref says no, we need to come back to the spot. So. So it looks like we'll have Ball's out to Tate, and she's in. So she punches it in through the, the heart of the Cardinals defense. So Vienna get on the board here, 17-5. And we'll have Wrigley with the kick. Pretty difficult kick, it's on the outside here. She's gonna drop kick. Ball's up, looks like it's a little, little wide. And that's gonna be half time. So pretty exciting half here. Cardinals are up 17-5. 
couple of sprinkles of rain, but nothing too bad on this St. Patrick's Day. We have action on the other field. We'll try and find out the score for everyone. So let's go through our sponsors here who really help us in uh, supporting what we're trying to get done here and really try and get some college recruiters being able to see high quality rugby on a regular basis. So, And all of the teams here are really, really supportive and do everything they can to support our mission in the EGRL. So, I'd like to reach out to Best Logistics and Transportation, Base Camp 31, Rugby New Jersey, Steamroller Rugby, Westchester Land Rover, Proactivity, World Rugby Shop, Corning Boosters, Wahini Boosters, Bushmills Tavern in Maryland, Fortags.com for all your livestock tag needs, and Main Street Cigar. And if you would like to get involved in the EGRL, either by being a team that can join the EGRL, being a sponsor, or just donating, please reach out to admin at egrl.org. And our admins will be happy to get back to you. So a little cooler here today. Everybody's bundled up in their jackets and hoodies. Hiding their sunburns from yesterday. This ra slightly rainy St. Patrick's Day. We've only had a couple of couple of drops. Action on the other field, Valkyries versus Morris. It's 11 11, Primo, make your wish. Some really good rugby over the last two days here. So the quality of rugby at the high school level is exploding. And coaches in those college programs are, are definitely seeing it. The skill levels are being learned at such so much younger ages than they used to be. So we have a lot more, you know, kids coming into the high school programs already knowing the game pretty well and being able to make some creative decisions on field. So Vienna is ready to go here. Cardinals take the field. Looks like we have Taran Gonzalez going to fullback. Okay, Wrigley to get things started. Ball 
Balls up. Field it cleanly on the run. That looks to be number two, Sescon. Good job there by Zoe Tate to drive through the rock. Really putting the pressure on Carnals. Kirshner has it, she puts the foot to it. Kicks it into space. Look like it's gonna be fielded by Gonzalez. Turns, running back up the field. Big tackle by Gemma Lee Rivera. Ball maintained by Kanta. Looks like Vienna has some young players who are really just trying to get the ball away from them. At the high school level, you have all different, oh, big kick back there by Boone. Getting some huge yardage. Gonzalez chasing it down. Boone has her. It looks like we have a knock on. Yeah, so we're gonna have a knock on here. And it looks like Gonzalez kind of dropped, didn't have it cleanly in her hands and made the turn and it just kind of squeezed out. So Vienna kind of put themselves under, under pressure on that series. Charlotte have number 19, Maggie Magnum really hanging out wide. Kirshner back to the first receiver spot. Charlotte break off the back, up the sideline. Uh, looks like we're into touch. Uh, looks like we have a knock on, so it's gonna be a scrum to Vienna. Hopefully they can relieve some pressure here. Big push by Charlotte. Scrum collapsed. So let's see if we're gonna do it again. The rain looks like it's threatening, but hasn't really come down yet. Okay, Vienna has it. Wrigley's on the move. Oh, bit of a mismatch, mix up in the exchange there, and looks like it's gonna be scrum advantage. So Charlotte in a really dangerous position here. Right on the five meter line. And we're gonna have substitution. It looks like Landon K is coming out. being replaced by number 11, Miller. Backfield is empty. So if Vienna managed to turn it over here, Wrigley could put the foot to it. Oh, ball came out wobbly to Kirshner and she kicked it back into, I'm not sure what ref call a penalty and Wrigley makes a nice break up the field, gaining about 20 meters. Does she have support? She does, the ruck set. Ref said there was no advantage gained. So Wrigley made such a quick break. Cardinals weren't ready to get set. So ref gave a 10 meter advantage. Wrigley kissed for touch now. So we're just about the 10 meter line. Vienna relieved Massive pressure there on that. Cardinals putting some of their forwards out into the back line. Really trying to create those mismatches.
Ref says ball stray. It's out to Wrigley. Skip Sher Cheryl. Nice little cut back there. Ball's moving out the line well here. Out to Gonzalez. Gonzalez hit a little high there. Patterson being spoken to. Telling, telling her she needs to drop the height of the tactical. Kirshner listens on. Kirshner gives the instruction to keep the tackles low. Ball's overhead. Good vantage point for us right here. Brown to put in. Ball's in. Ref's happy with the put in. It's getting bobbled around a little bit. <laughs> Vienna player tackles another Vienna player. <laughs> Both get up laughing. <laughs> Not something I've seen in a rugby match before. <laughs> in the, the confusion in the melee, one, one teammate tackles another. Okay, so Cardinals in another attacking position here. Holding it cleanly. Out to Kirshner. Spins it out to Rivera. Out to Landon Kay. Sorry, that was Boone, actually. Looks like we have a knock-on and possibly an injury here. One player landed on another. Vienna player a little slow to get up. She's up to her feet. It's Gonzalez. I'm going to scrum down. So the game's gotten a little sloppy in the last few minutes. Trainer getting her workout in today. <laughs> it's been busy. Cheryl joins the pack for Vienna. Wrigley breaks the tackle and gets the ball out. Good pressure here by Cardinals. Gonzalez cleans it up. Ball's out to Cheryl. Wrigley calling for it. Spreads it out the line. Really good defense there by Rivera and the Cardinals keeping that pressure on the whole time. Wrigley has it, she's spreading it out. Kanta on the move. Nice break here by Kanta. Big tackle by Kirshner. Tate has it. Penalty on Tate, not releasing. So really staunch defense there by Cardinals. Vienna had some nice nice running breakouts there, but defense was good. And then got the turnover in the ruck. So we're going to have 
Boone kick for touch. Doesn't get there. Ball bouncing around a little bit. Fianna makes a nice break up the sideline and she's out into touch. Well tackled by number five, Sarah Butler. So Seth's gone to put in here. Very well taken, ball's moving. Rivera going right up the middle. Lost the ball. Ref saying advantage, so we're gonna call it back for a scrum. So Rivera made some good yardage there in that phase, just knocked it on in the tackle. It's really important to protect the ball going into contact. Kirshner directing traffic at the back, moving Rivera over. Number 19, Magnum on the outside. Big push by Cardinals, but ball's out to Rigney. Bobbled in the back line, and it looks like we'll have a knock-on advantage for Cardinals. Vienna just missing some of their connections today. Ball is coming out a little high or a little low and making it a lot more difficult to catch. But they're playing hard, they're not quitting. Their heads are up. Okay, Eversol about to dig it out. Kirshner, Rivera, Rivera's in, Rivera bursts through, taking a couple of players with her, making up for her, her knock on a couple of phases before. Really good pressure there by Cardinals and really taking control of this game. So we're at 22-5. Uh, with the kick to follow. And looks like it's going to be Kirshner on the kick. Wind picking up. Kirshner kicking right footed off the tee. Ball's up. And it's good. So 24-5, Cardinals in pretty much complete control on this one. Vienna not hanging their heads. Score in the other game is 10-0, Clayton versus Morris. Okay, ball's up. Let it bounce. And it looks like we're out into touch. Patterson had a little bit of trouble getting her hands on it and it kind of squibbed out into touch. So good advantage here for Vienna. Get something going before the end of this game. We have maybe four or five minutes left here. Lift is good. Looks like we have a knock on and catch. So it's gonna be a scrummed Cardinals. So they'll get going on the attack again here.
Eversol digs it out. Kirchner's going to put the boot to it. Gonzalez scraping across. Picks it up. Well tackled. Good coverage there by Cardinals. And they picked it up and they're on the move. Breaking down the right, the left side. It's Gemma Lee Rivera. Looks like she's going to be in again in the corner. Nice try there by Rivera. Cardinals just keeping the pressure on. So now we have 29-5. Cardinals creating the turnover by pressuring. And Rivera picks it up and runs 40 meters for the score. Under four minutes left here. Kirshner gets ready to kick into the wind right from the outside edge. Balls up. Just a bit wide. Very nice strike there by Kirshner. Okay, so 29-5. Vienna <laughs> getting set to go. Wrigley with the kick. Ball's up. So we have a knock on by number four, Coleman. So we're going to have scrum down. Bowles receives from the back of the scrum out to Wrigley. Takes it short side. Tackled well by Eversol. Ball's available. Tate breaking a couple of tackles. Kirshner gets in there straight on. Ball scribbles out the side. Eversol and Kanta fighting for it. Gonzalez takes it. White has it. Tate makes a little break up the side. Stripped by Patterson. Big tackle by Tate. Moving out the back line now. Kirshner puts the boot to it. Into open space. It's going to be a foot race here. Kirshner chasing down. Taken by number 14. Doan. Ball's available, Claire Sherrill takes it. Wrigley put it into space. Taking my number six. Rivera. Sorry, Reeves Ramirez. I've been mixing games up all day. Okay, Cardinals on the move again here. Out to Robinson. Has space outside if she can get the ball out. Eversol digs it out. Out to number five. 
Butler. Oh, number two, nice speed run there. Sescon takes the ball at pace, right up the gut. Eversol digs it out. Kirshner out to Rivers. Knock on advantage. Ball just kind of bobbling around a little bit, so the ref's going to call it back for knock on advantage. And that's going to be it. So, convincing win by Cardinals over Vienna. Score will finish at 29 5. And I think that's going to be it for field two. So, thank you everybody for listening and putting on up with us the last few days. And thank you to Guildford College and Coach. Newcomb for really putting a good event together. Signing off. Bye-bye.